Hey guys, welcome back. I'm sitting here with definitely the largest RC I have ever had and probably that I will ever have also. That goes for probably most of you out there watching this. This is a gas RC as you could have guessed by the gas can and the two cycle premix oil right here. Um, we're going to take a look at it. We're going to go over some of the features. And I'm going to compare it to the very popular and nearly identical HPI Baja 5B. This is a ready to run I picked up on eBay. Very good seller, very good communication. And honestly, I was surprised at the price. Let me tell you right now, I paid $395 for a ready to run 30.5 cc engine. That is already better than the HPI Baja, which has a lower, smaller displacement motor. Um, we're gonna measure it, see how big it actually is. Look at this, I even got a tape measure for it. So we're gonna measure the whole thing itself. This box is just so big, it doesn't even fit on my table. So now let's unbox this together, see what they include, and see what the items actually look like inside. Okay, I had to set it here on the floor because the box is just so enormous and it's fairly heavy. So we're just gonna do this here. Oh, look at that, some nice congratulations on the purchase of your King Motors or Roven vehicle. Please read before operating. So it looks like you have a nice little quick start guide. I'm gonna go over this a little bit later. I'll just check out what's inside here. So the seals are already broken. Uh, nothing to be worried about because I actually read it inside here that these things are inspected at the factory and uh, that basically everything should be okay to expect the seals to be broken. Not a big deal. Okay, look at that. Whoa, this thing is huge. It's like the whole box. It's got a wing, you know, it's boring. We got the remote receiver, the remote control right here. You know, basic 2.4 gigahertz unit, nothing fancy, but it does its job. Let's see what else we got. We got a premix fuel can, very important so you can do your uh, 20 to one or 50 to one ratio premix for your fuel. We got a whole bunch of extras here. Let's see, we got an instruction manual. I'm gonna go over this in a little bit. Let's see what we got. We got a comprehensive set of tools. Very nice. Looks like you have a spark plug wrench also. And this probably for the wheel hexes. Yeah, it looks like a huge wheel hex. This thing has 24 millimeter wheel hexes, enormous. Let's see what's in this white box. It's probably, let's see, yeah, it's the battery charger. So this thing has a rechargeable receiver battery pack, which is really nice. Uh, identical in spec to the HPI Baja, nice. Now the RC itself. Oh, let's take it out. Am I strong enough? Let's see. Oh, let's throw pull this out first. Really well packed, honestly. Oh, it's really heavy. Wrapped in some really big plastic here. There it is. Let me put it on the table. We're gonna go over it right away. Okay guys, I took it out of the box. This thing is just enormous. Look at the size comparison between this and the Stampede. I could put the Stampede, which is the, you know, this is the 4x4 VXL, between the wheelbase. I mean, this is just nuts. Look at that. And these are like the large upgraded Proline trenchers. Uh, and look at the wheel size. I mean, this is just nuts. Look at that. You know, crazy. These have 24 millimeter aluminum hexes. Really nice, really solid. The wheels, what I really like about this and identical to the HPI Baja, these are bead locks. So you can replace just the rubber itself if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you know, put on some knobby or tires. I checked the Rovan uh, dealer website. They also have a website and an eBay account and they have pretty cheap replacement knobby tires for these. Look at this nice blackout bodywork. This is just really so nice. It already doesn't have any protective film on the Lexan. I read that they uh, pretty much removed it at the factory when they were inspecting it. And as I went over this, you know, while making this video, there's absolutely no damage on this. I'm really surprised. It was packaged really well so let me measure it see how big this thing actually is first let's do the wheelbase so the wheelbase itself well from wheel to wheel I'm not doing the actual wheelbase from the actual you know center of the wheel so it is uh, 29 inches let's say but if we go to the back of the exhaust this thing should be over yeah it's about 34 inches so yeah 34 inches in length this thing is huge I really like it this particular one is not the base model. This has the upgraded 30cc engine. So it says right here, 30.5cc, huge. The HPI Baja has a 28cc engine. So this is already an upgrade. Here's our pull start. 
so where we put our uh, gasoline and two-stroke oil mix. Nice identical layout to the HPI Baja. Um, this particular one has a couple of really cool upgrades here in the back. Uh, most obvious is this huge chrome tuned pipe. Look how big this is. This is. I mean, this thing is just enormous. This is like, if you remember on goat pads years ago, people used to put these on, it was really, really noisy. So I'm interested to see how noisy it'll be. I checked out the HPI website and the Bajas come with this like really disgusting, weird looking black can exhaust. Let me show you guys a picture of it right here. To do the pipe upgrade on the HPI Baja is gonna cost like, you know, pretty much a percentage of this whole RC. You could probably expect to pay, you know, about 440 for this, which is still a really good deal compared to any other brand, including some of the Red Cat models, which are basically all just copies of the HPI Baja. This particular one, uh, you know, as it said in the listing, has an upgraded aluminum uh, chassis brace right here. This whole piece is a really nice, hefty piece of uh, aluminum. Look at that. It, this thing is like really, really hardcore, really nice. The top of this has a metal part on the roll cage. You can get a full metal cage on this. This one has the plastic one. Once again, identical to the HPI Baja. So you have an aluminum four millimeter frame here, identical to the HPI Baja. I feel like the suspension is a little bit rough. I'm not sure if this is how these things normally are, but the shocks seem to be really well filled with oil. Maybe it's a little bit on the thicker side. I've never had a fit scale before, so I'm not sure if this is supposed to be the way it is. If anybody, if anybody knows, please, you know, just tell me if it is normal or not. Let's take a closer look at some of the components on this RC. Uh, there's a lot to really look at. I mean, this thing is like enormous on my table. This is a four foot table, guys. I mean, look at this. This thing is huge. On the bottom here, you have the extremely powerful servo. You see that servo on the bottom right here? I'm gonna to point to it. This is not a regular standard servo. This is an enormous fifth scale servo. All of the actual electronics seem to be waterproof. This is the on off switch and it has a rubber boot on it. Nice to see that. Let's look inside here. You also have a couple other rubber elements. This is the charge port for your receiver battery uh, that I showed you guys earlier. Really nice to see there, huge air filter look at this air filter this thing is like enormous it looks to be a dual stage filter so yeah if I slide this up let's see there should be a second element on the bottom there and yeah there it is a different color so you can oil that and it'll be pretty pretty good these things have a brand name carburetor so listing said it had a wall broke carburetor so there it is right there got to learn how to adjust these a little bit more I'm only really comfortable with nitros at this point here is our kill switch. If anything happens, instructions say just to press it and the car will uh, obviously shut off itself. Okay, now we've come to the back of the chassis. As I said, look at this pipe. This thing like out angles the whole RC. If you guys follow Rich Piana, you would know how he likes to out angle people with his arms. Well, this RC out angles uh, everything else with its giant pipe. The listing said that this thing provides a really good amount of low end and mid range, mid range torque. So you know what? Why not? You know, if it was included, I'll get it. Look, this thing is just beautiful guys. The construction is really nice. I went over it close up, uh, not on video, and I didn't notice any screws that were not tightened well, and uh, everything seems to be put together really nice. Look at these giant drive shafts. I mean, they're like legit the size of my finger. Let's compare the wheel hex size of my other really powerful 8 scale HPI Trophy Truggy. This actually is running the Traxxas Summit wheel, so these wheels are enormous. They are 17 millimeter hubs. I took one off. Look at that wheel hex inside, so it's 17 millimeter. Now look at this one, whoa, it's enormous. Do you guys see this difference? It's huge. Let's look at the actual hardware. Look at this hub right here, that's enormous. Look at that one, 17 millimeter. It looks like a tiny 12, but it isn't. So this thing has some really beefy suspension parts. And now let's take a look at some of the actual uh, paperwork that comes with this. It seems to be really well detailed. This is a complete turn by turn, step by step a list on what to do to start your RC and uh, actually how to break it in. Really interesting. Uh, if you guys want to pause on this part, you know, feel free, but it seems to be pretty simple. It says, you know, just mix the uh, pre-mix um, fuel ratio 25 to one and uh, heat cycle the engine about three to four times for, you know, 10 minutes uh, and then let it cool down. So not too distant from the nitro break in. Let's check out the instruction manual. Okay, so it looks like we have a description of all the parts that are included. Uh, yes, I did see all of these, obviously, so that's good. I have to attach the wing that is not currently on the RC. I'll do that later. 
Here you have some more instructions on your carb and throttle linkages. Really important, guys. Really important. Primer bulb. Let's see what else we got. Very important right here. We have the exploded views further on. How to actually start the engine. Really nice. Some instructions on the actual manual choke. Uh, here's a cool picture of the beadlocks. Look at all those components. So yeah, you have the outside ring, the tire, the foam, uh, the rim itself, and the other ring that holds the bead in. Really nice and comprehensive, I gotta say. I always wanted an HPI Baja, but you know, a little over $1,000 is a little too much to pay for me. You know, I may be wearing a green sweater today, you know, the money color, but I'm not about to spend $1,000 on an HPI Baja. To make you really understand the price difference here, I basically just picked two different items for uh, the HPI Baja and replacing parts for this one that I found on eBay. Let's start with the engine. A brand new engine, the base engine, uh, the 26cc engine from HPI right now is $399 on Tower Hobbies. $400, so the engine alone is the price of this whole RC. I mean, that's insane, HPI. Why are you doing this to me? Uh, the second part, let's see, is the chassis. A brand new HPI chassis for this is $159. Nuts. Now let's talk about the Rovan parts here. So brand new engine for this, $148. So less than half price. The engine, the complete engine, less than half price of the HPI. What about the chassis? The chassis is $34. So basically 20%. HPI is $160. The Rovan RC chassis is $34. So what about the servo? As I said before, this thing has a huge powerful servo. It is rated at 45 kilograms compared to the HPI's 25 kilograms. So the servo in here alone, factory, is already basically twice as strong as the HPI servo. I mean, I couldn't even believe that. I mean, how can they do that? For this kind of money, that's just insane. Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the electronics here, put the remote on, all good. Put the power switch on here in the bottom. There we go, it's on. This thing has a built-in failsafe. I did test it, so in case you turn off the actual remote, let me do it right now. This thing locks the brake so you can't have any runaways. Really cool. You see right here, the brakes are locked. There you go, I can't even go anywhere. As soon as I put the remote on, you heard that? The throttle server goes back in place and this thing rolls. I mean, really solid. Everything was set up right out of the box. I didn't even have to program anything this time. This is super rare that you don't have to deal with anything like this, right? Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I really wanted to make this video to make sure that anybody that wants one of these really jumps on it. I'm not sure how long these prices are gonna last on eBay. You know, I checked out some of the other more higher rated models and by that I mean the ones with the larger engines and they are substantially more expensive than this 30cc model. You could also save about $30 and get the 28cc model but you will be missing a couple of these upgrade parts as I mentioned. You won't have this exhaust pipe, you won't have this really nice aluminum uh, front brace and uh, the body itself will be colorful. I mean, I really like this blacked out body style. This thing looks sick. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I'm going to be doing a break in on this soon. I'll make sure to film that and we'll do a couple of uh, low runs. You know, we'll see how this thing starts, idles, performs. I'm going to have to actually watch a couple YouTube videos myself to bring myself up to speed on running one of these and make sure I even do the premix correctly. But Rovan really made it simple with the mix can. I mean, this thing is really nice. You see that? You unscrew this. It even has a funnel. I mean, this thing is really cool. <laughs> cool, right? Yeah. Okay, guys. Till next time. Thanks.